Welcome to another Dragon Ball Z movie review. I'm your host, Cory Donato, and today's review is Dragon Ball Z, The World's Strongest. Um, this movie was originally released in Japan back in 1990. Um, the plot of the film is that Dr. Cochin, an evil scientist, gathers the Dragon Balls and wishes his master, Dr. Wheelo, free from his icy slumber in the Arctic. Once Wheelo is free, he desires a new body to inhabit to make him the smartest scientist and the strongest being in the world. But in order to become the strongest being in the world, he needs the strongest warrior, meaning the strongest body to inhabit, <laughs> and Goku is the perfect choice. Um, this film is like, it's definitely a major improvement from the uh, last film that I reviewed, Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone. It's, it's so much better than Dead Zone. Um... The things I liked about this film is I loved that uh, Dr. Doctor Wheelo and Dr. Cochin were both just great villains. Like, uh, Dr. Wheelo, like, of course, there, I'm going to tell you there's going to be spoilers in this review, so just be ready. Um, Dr. Wheelo is just a brain. He's like a brain in this, like, he's in the wall and he's, like, in this mechanism and, it, and it's just his brain. Like, his body was destroyed in the Arctic. And, um, he's being held, like, in the wall and everything. And he looks he looks really cool, and his voice is very menacing. It's, like, very robotic. And Dr. Cochin, he's also very, like, he's very, like, a nasty, like, old old man, like, villain. He's, he's very cool. And, uh, Dr. Cochin is revealed at some point in the movie to be, also be a robot. So, that's pretty, pretty neat. Um... I love the design of of um, Wheelo. Like I mentioned him, like in the wall and everything. But his robot suit that he comes out at comes out of in the end, he, it almost looks like a xenomorph from the Alien movies. Like that's what it that's what it looked like to me. Um, I really enjoyed the fighting sequences in this film. They were just so much better than Dead Zone. Um, I loved the fight between. Um, there was a rematch between Goku and Piccolo that I liked. The whole fight between um, Dr. Wheelo and the Z Fighters was freaking amazing. Um, and the fight between Go Goku and the uh, biotech warriors that Wheelo and Cochin created was pretty good, too. Um, Master Roshi kicked ass in this movie. He was... You don't usually get to see Master Roshi fight a lot anymore, so it was really cool getting to see him fight um, these biotech warriors. So, it was pretty cool. Also, there's these other biotech warriors that look exactly like Cybermen. I just think that was like the animators being a little, you know, lazy. But the other biotech warriors were pretty cool looking. Um... I didn't mention this about uh, Dead Zone, but the animation in these films, of course, is the exact same animation that they use for the anime, and it's it's great. It's good. Um, so let me see what else do I got here. Oh, overall, the story the story of this film is pretty simple, but it's done very well. So it's it's a simple story, but done done in a very very good way. Um, this. I just loved all the fights. The, the thing that stood out for me in this film was definitely the fight fighting sequences. There's even a part where Goku takes his um, <clears throat> power pole and does like a freaking like Empire Strikes Back thing to Doctor Wheeler's robot. Like, like you know what I'm talking about? Like when they when they spin when on the a planet of Hoth and they were spinning around the Adats and they fell over. Well, he did the same thing with like the power pole in a way. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, just the whole fight between, like, Piccolo and Goku is pretty sweet, because, uh, we usually don't, we don't really get to see them fight much anymore now, but 
this fight was pretty freaking sweet. And also in the film, we get to see Gohan's hidden potential again. But I feel like in this film, it's done really well. Like, um, it's, like, slightly hinted at. Because, um, Dr. Cochin's, like, pissing off, uh, Gohan. And Gohan's, like, getting all angry and stuff. And Dr. Ryo's like, whoa, 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 don't piss this guy off. Don't piss this kid off. He's really powerful. <laughs> so let's not mess with him. At first I thought that Dr. Wheelow had wanted to take Gohan's body then, but he still wanted Goku's body. Um, the fight between Dr. Wheelow and the Z Fighters went, went longer than I expected. Like, I expected it to be short, but Dr. Wheelow actually put up a really, really good fight, and his robot suit was almost, like, indestructible. It took a freaking, like, spirit bomb to take him out. So that, that, was, pretty, that was pretty awesome. Um, the only dislikes I have about this film is, uh, I wish Oolong had been in the film a little bit more. I liked him in the beginning, and then they just kind of, just kind of threw him away. Like, he was in, he was in it for, like, a little bit, but then, then they took him out. But I really thought he, I, I love, he's a very good comic relief character, and I, I thought this film could have used a little bit of com more comic relief. Um... Master Roshi, I really would have liked to have seen him like do his like Hulk out thing, you know, when he bursts his muscles out and stuff. Like in the original Dragon Ball series, I really wish I could have saw this in this film. That's that's what like, one of my little like nitpicks. Um, I would have liked to have seen. I'm wondering where Yamcha and Tien and Chaozu are during these films. So I haven't seen. I haven't seen them in Dead Zone. I haven't I haven't seen them in the World's Strongest. The only other one I've seen is Krillin. And you know, that's it. But I would like to have seen Yamcha and Tien. Or, I mean, I mean, it's weird for me to say, hey, I want to see Yamcha in the movie because Yamcha's kind of a weak character. But, yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen Yamcha in this movie. <laughs> um, I think overall this is a great DBZ film. It's got action. It's got a little bit of comedy in it. It's got great villains. Um, yeah, overall great film and I only have like very small it's just things that I would I would have added to the film it's not really even big problems with the film like th I honestly think this is a great Dragon Ball Z film and you guys should definitely uh, check it out I definitely give Dragon Ball Z the world's strongest a 5 out of 5 so yeah check it out and uh, make sure to look forward to my next Dragon Ball Z review the, tr <clears throat> the Tree of Might and I will be coming out with a review of the newest DC animated film, The Death of Superman, so make sure to look out for that. So yeah, like the video, subscribe, and catch you later. Oh yeah, and Special Beam Cannon! Keep it moving.